Name, image, and likeness. It's now something that college athletes can legally be paid for. So how does this impact players in Alabama? WVTM 13's Bria Douglas spoke with one to find out. A touchdown on the field just turned into one off the turf, too, for Alabama A&M University quarterback Akil Glass. The NCAA allowing college athletes to get paid by companies to use their name, image, and likeness feels like an end zone celebration. It's a good opportunity for not only me, but all the players to put in so much hard work and time and dedication. Not every college athlete will benefit from NIL, especially those at smaller schools. Coach Connell Maynard thinks Akil has what it takes to attract brands wanting to pay him, but says it probably won't happen for the majority of his team. The better player you are, the more plays you make, uh, of course, the better chance you are you have of getting somebody to uh, want to represent you and you represent them. So, of course, that's going to entice the guys to work out harder. Even before the legalization of NIL, Akil's motivation for football has never wavered, but says he wouldn't mind some of his favorite companies like Body Armor, Nike, and Gatorade reaching out to him for a deal. Any extra cash that I can, I can set myself up in the long run, you know, that's what I'm predominantly focused on, you know. Not so much spending money because I'm blessed to have a family and support system that has you know, been able to support me financially. His coach has this advice for him and all the other athletes hoping to cash in on the NCAA's new rule. They need to get some representation. They got to pay taxes on this stuff. All these type things uh, they need to know and make sure they don't get this up in any trouble uh, down the road. Coach Maynard plans to have some companies come in and talk to his team about NIL to avoid any flags in the game of life. Bria Douglas, WVTM 13.